Hello, Hello and, and welcome, welcome to 5 Minute Math. Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of recognizing volume. This is standard 5.6a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 20 of the 2021 release star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So, so we have we four have rectangular, rectangular prisms. prisms, they're made, they're made of cubes. cubes. We, need we need to find, find a volume, volume of 12, 12 cubic, cubic units. units. So how do we, how do we find, find volume? volume? Well, there's two, two different, different ways to find volume. Volume, volume, volume is the amount of cubes, cubes that you can put into a three-dimensional three space. space. So, so we can do length times width times height. We just take those three measurements, multiply those three. Another option you might see would be the H. So this, so this H, H is the same, same as this H, H. even though one's one capital, one's, one's lower, it's the same thing. thing. So you can multiply the height. The difference is, in this second equation, it calls for the base. So the base is the area of that bottom layer. How do we find the area of a rectangular prism? The bottom layer, well, we're going to multiply length times width. That's how we find the area of a rectangle. So these two are definitely connected. So it ends up being the same thing. We're going to have to do three different multiplications, length times width times height. Whether you want to call it base times height, that's fine. That's a GP. So let's start with our figure one. I'm just going to use Roman numerals here. So we've got volume equals, and I'll just do length times width times height. So let's use this as our length. It doesn't really matter as long as you're consistent. All right, so I'll use these two. I'll say my length is two. My width, width is, is one, one, two, three. three. And my, my height, height, I've got, I've got two. two. I've got a stack of two. two. Now, now here's, here's the interesting the thing. thing. I've got two times three times, times two. two. How, many How many cubes, cubes are, are visible? visible? Well, I've got one. And this is one right here. So it's two, two three, three, four. four. And then I've, I've got, got five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, nine, nine ten. ten. I've got, I've got ten. ten Cubes that are visible. Some, Some cubes, cubes have more than one side. side. Showing. Showing. How many cubes are actually there? Well, two, two times three, that makes six times two. two. So that so is going to make 12 cubic units. And that's and why we use our formula, formula rather than just counting what's visible. We've got a few that are visible right there in the back. So figure one works. It looks like it's going to be more than one. So let's check the rest of them. Figure, figure two, two, we're going to do this the same thing. thing. We, we are going to say volume equals length times width times height. And, and we are going to say that our length is, we'll call it one. Our width, width is one, two, three, four. And then, and then our height, height is just one, two, three. three. So, so we've, we've got, got one times four, four that's four. four times 3. So, so my volume here, here is 12. I can, I can write cubic units another way. I can write units with a little 3 as an exponent. That's another way to do it. So they're both good. Figure 1 and figure 2 are good to go. Let's check figure 3. So volume equals length times width times height. Let's see what we have here. Length is going to be 2. Width is going to be two. two. I've got two, two by two. two. That means my base right here is going to be four. What's, What's my height? height? One, two, three, four. So, so four, four times four. four. No, nope, that's not going to work. That's, that's going to give me 16, 16, and I'm looking for 12. So 16 cubic units. So not figure three. Let's finish off with figure four. Volume equals, equals length, length times width times height. So my length is two. My, my width is just one, it's not very wide. Just, just one layer across. Height, height is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. six. So, so volume, volume equals two times, two times one. Let's make that two times six. six. Look at that, that, that makes twelve. Cubic units, that's also going to work, so I've got 1, 2, and 4, my answer is H.